Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Previously on Kimba TV. How we doing? How we doing? Weekend Lions. Gents, I have a whole bunch of shit I got to do. So I thought, let's grind together. Mario says, recap, please. I got you, Mario. Let me just uh, empty out my ledger. You know what I mean? Um, Mario, conceptually, I think um, we could, you know, go back down to as low as like 43. I think what will need to happen is we need more shorts to get loaded. But I think it's still going to continue higher. So in terms of how you could see if that's happening and, and the levels in which where you would anticipate that to happen, we can recap in a, in a second. Let, let, let's just enjoy the lettuce, baby. This bitch ain't going nowhere. It's the weekend. But conceptually, I think they're going to try to trap more shorts. All righty. Something like that. And I don't know if you were here yesterday or the day before <clears throat> when we did like the little morning TA, but there's some bad lows around 43. So it wouldn't surprise me if it goes back down there to sweep before moving back up. Yeah, but that point of control is also interesting too, yeah? Around like the 43.3, 43.4. CODK is asking, what's the difference open interest Binance to Bybit? Um, well, like um, what you want to spot are like the historical patterns. And so if you're consistently noticing that it's the longs that keep opening on Binance and getting wrecked by market makers over on Bybit, then that's what you kind of need to anticipate moving forward, right? So it's not, there isn't like a generalizable black and white, this is what's happening, um, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes they're going to, it's going to be on Coinbase spot, the market makers, right? So um, it's just, it's just another data point that you would use to uh, be able to spot a pattern. You know, if you notice you, sometimes you're going to notice that it's the shorts that open up on Bybit that get fucked from, um, longs over on Binance or vice versa, or it might be Binance derivative positions that gets uh, wrecked by Coinbase spot. So it's just, it's just another way to uh, like spot a pattern, brother. Yeah. Uh, Swap BZ is asking if you had a 43K long, would you close that and wait or just break even? 43K, ah, bad, bad, b -b 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 bad. B -b 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 bad. <coughs> um, do you remember when I said um, I thought like that would get swept? Pink. Um, I think it was maybe on Wednesday on like those morning um lettuce breaks out on the balcony, but um, there was a day where I was like um. You know, maybe 43, like 43 is going to get swept and maybe, you know, it doesn't grab that, but it grabs that. And like I threw, we were talking about like 42.9, swap easy. So um, I think that's worst case. I think going back down there now would actually uh, lean a little bit towards the bearish side. So... If you don't want to get stopped out, unfortunately, you're going to have to have a stop loss and profit at like 43.2, 43.185. <gasps> 
But if your entry is 43, that sucks. You've almost pissed away about 90%. Um, Cause it wouldn't surprise me to do this. On top of that, um, you have a full rotational play coming in, right? So the previous day value area high was 44.4. Pink, perfect bearish retest. So you lose 43.8, you're going to hit it, which is the previous day value of row. So the full rotational, the full rotation that we play a lot is in play, but to the downside. So for example, like if you have a 44.4 short, that's beautiful. That's straight math. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's beautiful. All you got to do is look at this shit because it's, this is on... Um, this is the exo charts that I share with you guys, right? So like the full rotation is pretty much in play. Um, you know, you even did a uh, bearish retest on the daily open already. It's basically, do this is classic full rotation, right? It's everything that we would be looking for, whether it's like a long or a short, we do the same exact shit, right? So it broke back into the value area high. It's back tested the value area high. It's back tested daily. O. So yeah, it's now holding point of control. So you lose point of control, um, Swabe, and uh, you're going to rotate to value area low. So you could maybe use that data however way you want to. Since it's bearish retesting, you might be able to see it lose it and then do a bearish retest. And so you might be able to get out of it um, on the uh, point of control. Alrighty. And then obviously, like if point of control holds, then if it breaks out, turns that in, you're going to make a higher high. Roger that. Thanks. Yep, yep. You're in good shape, brother. <clears throat> yeah, but you see it? It's This is like classic full rotation, right? Whenever we've been in a long, like from it breaking back into very or low, we've done a lot of the full rotations on longs. We do the same thing. We make sure that we break through point of control. We break through daily open. And then, you know, every single time it does those uh, barriers, it has a higher and higher chance of making a higher high and, and eventually breaking through the value of your high. So maybe you would let those. So 43.8 is the previous day point of control. 44.4 is value area high. Daily op the, the daily open was 44.2, just clean numbers. And then the, your value area low is at the 43.3, which also confluences with Fibonacci levels and TPO and volume-based point of controls. So maybe the smart thing to do would be to uh, shave a good chunk, you know, behind the point of control, uh, whether you do it on the losing of it or the bearish retest. And you could potentially think about adding again at the uh, confluencing levels. Uh, go trades. Go trades says if so. If you're a dummy and we're in a 43.5 long, if it starts breaking below point of control now, would you just limit out? Yeah, goats. Um, there's really no right or wrong. Um, what I would, you, you know, I would def, I would probably start shaving. Uh, goat trades. It's it depends how many times you've seen a full rotation play. Right, chart champs, they might call it the CCV setup, right? But it's just value area high to value area low or value area low to value area high. It's a full rotation. It doesn't have to fully rotate. And um, between the two boundaries, you're gonna have resistance and support levels, you know? So that comes in the form of the point of control and um, daily open, uh, TPO levels and single prints. Um, so just by looking at this, you know, you broke through value area high, you did a bearish retest. Um, do you have any sort of like bullish buildup? Eh. Um, you have shorts. Um, I'm really like, I don't want to, I don't want to use like the words that I would normally use, but 
I think you're starting to get shorts trapped, which is great. I don't know if it's enough. If you wanted to really quantify it, um, there's 15 million more uh, shorts. Um, I mean, actually more like... 60 million dollars more in shorts than longs on Bybit. You know, within this range. So it's about 60 million. So I just don't, I don't know if it's enough. <clears throat> Usually you, you see anywhere from 100 to maybe 180 million. Uh, whether you're talking about trapping longs or shorts. So. Asta uh, said, what's your spot re-entry zone? Well, you know, do you know what my answer is going to be? It, it'll be the BTC pair that guides me, Asta uh, Vista. I need a pullback on um, um, dot .BTC, right? Yeah, I might. So here's ETH. I think the most Im interesting for me is ETH BTC. Look at where ETH BTC is right now. So that's kind of interesting right there. It swept. Yeah, so I'm actually looking for like a hidden bull div or a uh, any sort of, you see that? So I did not like that. And when it did that, it basically reset this. So I'm starting to look for another. You know what I would love? Be a, be a, be a, be a bitch. B.A.? Mm-hmm. And that is probably when I'll jump in on ETH. And I'll also be paying really close attention to, um, uh, like, DOT, ADA, all the other altcoins, too. Roger that. Okay. So I got, I'm not going to rush into anything, but I got my eye on some sangity thing. Thanks. Tony says waiting in the bush for that. Yeah. Yeah. It looks interesting, right? And that's the daily. So it might take some time. And that being said too, um, if for some reason it doesn't want to come back and sweep, it's the bullish retest of breaking out of this daily descending triangle that I would bite on too. So if it doesn't want to go back down there, that's fine. In fact, what if it does some goofy shit like this and that's, you know, some, the bullish retest is like there. What, when it, whatever it is, I'll be ready. But yeah, that got reset, so I could actually delete this now. But yeah, that would be, you know, whether it's that, again, another sweep, or that, you know, a bold div on this would be excelente. You know, and then I'll start looking at, you know, dot BTC and, and all the other stuff. Yeah, but this is the daily that we've been waiting on for quite some time, so. Uh, Toro says, do you have long now? Yes, I, um, so remember, I have the uh, Viper Toro, right? So this, this, is, this is running, and um, it was, uh, all the entries are shown, and yeah, so I, I'm in from 41.450 um, TP, like we already TP 38. Yeah, but this has been running for quite some time. Toro, roger that. This is the 200 to 1 mil challenge, and then I have the one, uh, I have the blowfin that is, um, 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 I think it's 15, 10 to hundred. Yeah, I have, um, and then like I have one, um, um, on Mexi, they change the sizing, so it's hard to tell. I have one account that has a two mil position and I have another account that has a five mil position and they all have same exact entry. They all have same exact TP, but yes, we have been talking about it for quite some time. Yeah, they're all identical entries, uh, the Kraken, the Mexi. Like here, uh, let me see if I can show you guys the Mexi one. Um, 
This one I think is the three million dollar position, but we I already shaved one. Yeah, so this one was originally three mil, um, or two point five maybe. Um, and then I have another one that is a five mil position, but they're all the exact same entry. All the exact same TPs as the, the Viper that you're seeing. Okay. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Um, let me switch over to this. There we go. There we go. Hey, Robert, have a great night. And tell them, have a great night. Hey, Sato, tell them what happens if they don't use stop loss. Tell them what happens if they don't use stop loss, Sato.